Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover! This family knows what to do. which over time has been has raised and lowered in importance the public doesn't seem to think about it but it is still the the major threat most people think the US has a no first use policy namely we would never be the first ones using them we don't I'm going to bomb the shit out of them. It's true. I don't care. I don't care. They've got to be stopped. This is so typical of the U.S. Yeah. It's designed to say, no one should have nuclear weapons but us. And that's not what it's about. So you would, you would rule in the possibility of using right, nuclear weapons against ISIS? Well, I'm never going to rule anything out. Right. And I wouldn't want to say, even if I felt it wasn't going, I wouldn't want to tell you that. Right. Because at a minimum, I want them to think maybe we would use it, okay? Right. The first thing you have to do is get them to respect the West and respect us. And if they're not going to respect us, it's never going to work. It's trying to say we don't want to nuclear weapons to spread. But the other thing that the nuclear nations agreed to in the Non-Proliferation Treaty was to disarm. And so we have an obligation. We are violating the Non-Proliferation Treaty today in, the, in this country as much as North Korea may be by trying to get nuclear weapons or getting nuclear weapons or Iran, which happily they've been stopped from getting them for the moment. Yeah. Because we are not making an open effort to disarm. We want to reduce the number of nuclear weapons in the world because there's really no good use for them. You could see the city of Hiroshima from 50 miles away. So you just went in and turned on to the bomb run. And by this time, it was in the bombardier's hands. And you sat there and waited for the drop. And when the drop came, the plane surged because you suddenly lost 9,400 pounds. And Tibbetts took over manual control again and made the turn to get away from the bomb. The biggest thing that we were concerned about was, is this bomb going to work? Suddenly the bomb went off and you saw a bright flash of light in the airplane, so you knew the thing had worked. Then we turned around after we weren't sure we weren't going to get any more shockwaves, we turned around to look what had happened and the shockwave of the city of Hiroshima was completely covered with smoke and dust. And you could not you knew a tremendous amount of damage had been done underneath that cloud there and everything, but you could not see what it was. I was happy it worked. That's number one. You know, we had been in a long war. We had been attacked by the Japanese. The, the Japanese people were not nice people in those days. The policy of the United States government at that time was to subdue the nation of Japan. And I was willing to do anything I could do to help that out. Dropping the atomic bomb saved their lives and our lives, Japanese lives. If we had had to invade Japan, the Japanese casualties would have been much, much higher. And our casualties would have been terrific. I, I regret that we had to do it, but I think we had to do it in order to end the war with a minimum loss of life. I, I say that any politician, any diplomat, anybody in any uh, area of authority today, I would like never to see another atomic weapon used, but I'm afraid we're going to. We're following rising tensions between the United States and North Korea. A top official in Pyongyang told our Ben Tracy that if provoked, North Korea is ready to go to war and it is willing to use nuclear weapons. Our best estimates are that North Korea has enough nuclear material for up to 21 nuclear warheads. Uh, they have missiles already capable of reaching U.S. allies and bases in, in Asia. 
uh, and they're working on missiles that, uh, unless uh, current uh, trends are, are checked, will be able to hold the U.S. homeland at risk. Uh, but as long as they have these weapons, of course, we, we live under the, the threat of the possibility that he could decide to use them against us or against our allies or bases in Asia. We need to basically work towards a nuclear-free world because as long as we have nuclear weapons, we're all at risk.